dead. And you're going to solitary. Get him out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who the hell is Carter? Why, why do you think Jason killed the guy? This isn't your business. Take the prisoner out. No, no, I'm sorry, but you can't. Who are you? Detective Dante Falconer. You take Jason Morgan to solitary. Michael Corinthos will be left alone and unprotected. Mr. Morgan was aware of that possibility when he chose to kill another inmate. Well, I want the details of the case before you take him anywhere. I don't have time for this, Detective Falconer. Oh, come on, who is Carter, and why would Jason kill him knowing it would cause Michael more problems? Get Morgan out of here. Your visit is over. Michael, why'd you get back? I was visiting Jason, and the warden came in and got him. It seems he thinks that Jason had something to do with killing this guy Carter. Do you know anything about that? What's the warden going to do with Jason? I don't know. He's talking to him right now. Michael, look, I know you don't trust me, but there's nothing you can't tell me that I won't find out on my own. So why don't you just tell me what happened? What did this guy Carter do to Jason that made him want to kill the guy? You have every reason not to trust me. But the warden's got Jason right now, and he's threatening to put him in solitary, so I need to know what happened with this Carter guy. Why? Well, maybe I can help. You don't give a damn about Jason. No, I don't. I give a damn about you. And as long as you're in here, Jason's going to be your watchdog. So why don't you give me something I can go on? There was this guard that was hassling me. Right? And Carter stepped in and helped. I thought he was okay, but he kept saying I owed him something. I thought he'd back off, but he wouldn't. And that night when Jason showed up, Carter came after me, and I ended up with bruises and stuff. So Jason killed the guy? Well, Carter was scum. Anyone could have killed him. Well, the warden seems to think it was Jason. Oh, no, it wasn't. How do you know? Because Jason wasn't me. I brought in some of your fellow inmates to help sort this out. You're on janitorial this month, right? Yes, sir. Do you see this inmate anywhere near the showers around the time Carter got stabbed? No, sir. You're on laundry. And you're on kitchen. You both have clear views of the halls. Did either of you see this inmate when Carter was killed? No, no sir. Get him out. was not a nice guy. No surprise your fellow inmates would lie to cover for you. Sir, you have no proof that I killed Carter. We'll see what the investigation turns up. In the meantime, you're going to solitary. Please, I'm asking you not to do that. I will guarantee my good behavior if you let me stay with Michael. I get that your first instinct is to protect Jason and give him an alibi, but please do not lie to the warden. That's not really your problem, is it? Michael, if you make false statements to the warden and he finds out, you're going to be in worse trouble than you already are. Right, maybe I'll be lucky to put me in solitary. If you are implicated in this prisoner's death, they could double your sentence. Nobody wants that for you, least of all Jason. Look, I get it. I know you feel, feel bad about what's going on in my life. No, no, I hate what's happened in your life, but I'm trying to help you. I'm your brother. Look, the only one who's helping me is Jason. He's teaching me how to hold my own. He's going to keep teaching me. So I don't need you for anything. Michael. Guard. I'm ready to go back to myself. I don't like that an 18-year-old brain-damaged kid got sentenced to Pentonville. It didn't help him. It's not my job to play favorites. It's my job to oversee a prison full of inmates. All I want to do is, is keep Michael safe. That's it. Sir, I... I don't want to make any waves. I believe that Michael could survive this, but he's going to need help to do it. I, I promised him once that I would keep him safe. And I failed. Let me stay with Michael. Let me get him through the rest of his sentence without being harmed. 
there's one person who can make that happen. And that's you. you to be protected. And that's what he said when he told the court I killed Claudia. Dante is a master of screwing people over and claiming that he meant no harm. Right, what'd you say about Carter? Well, I told him I got a new fight. I know he's gonna go tell Dad. I told Dante that Carter attacked me, but Dante was reading between the lines and I jumped to conclusions. And I wanted to tell him not to tell Dad, but he would have taken it as admission that there was more to tell. I just don't worry about it. I just want dad thinking I'm weak or pathetic. Your, your dad knows most kids would have never survived what you've been through. And you did survive, and you're going to come out stronger. I wasn't doing too well before you got here. There are inmates in here twice as big as you who spend their whole lives in here fighting. you got to keep teaching me self-defense. Michael, the last, last lesson, you, you blocked everything. I think no, no, don't, don't take it easy on me. I need to be able to handle people like Carter to kill them if I have to. 